These are a few tips on using KML and KMX files within the new Google Earth app. So what you'll notice on opening the app, and I'm using Android Nugget 7.0 on a Moto G4, is it will say, welcome to my places. Here you can add these two files. Now, last night it did not say KMZ files, so that's good. Everybody's updating things. So the way it works is this. There are tons of things you can add. So first of all, if I go and search in here and I put in KML, then I'm searching my Google Drive. So the first thing we will look at is something um, which is in my drive, which is this is the county of Essex in England. And you can see that you can turn it on or off with the little eyeball on the right, or you can fly here. So immediately it opens up. It's a very small file, and it just shows that there is a county um, northeast of London called Essex. Of course, people could be watching this video from all over the world. I'm sure they will be. Big shout out to those in India, Turkey, Pakistan, uh, where I'm picking up quite a lot of new viewers. So that's that. Now, watch what happens when we go in and we literally turn it off. OK, then I go back and you see the thing has disappeared. That's all well and good. What happens with a KMZ or KMZ file? So you click the import. This time in Drive, I'm going to put KMZ. I say Z because I'm um, from the UK. And I'm going to look at this one where there was a friend of mine, who still is a friend of mine, don't seem so much, called um, Larry Finalier. And he lives in Trinidad and Tobago. And I've known him for many years since the start of Google+. Plus and he sits down there and lives in Trinidad and Tobago and the red line shows that there are 4,400 miles between us. I'm a curious person and I said, oh, I wonder what happened if I wasn't talking to you from UK to Trinidad but I was talking about, you know, somewhere else. So, in other words, what I did is I used Google Earth to centre myself around Trinidad and then draw a circle and that's what this yellow line is, look. And then I also said, well, I'm in the UK I'm going to draw another circle, um, which is um, giving an intersection of, for example, where we could also be 4,400 miles. I know it's, you know it's pretty trivial, it's just a bit of a chat, but the illustration is to show what happens with these files. Now let's go to the really big file that I've got here, the biggest one that I know, and that is that the one I'm going to import this time is going to be a KML but it's many thanks to those uh, good people at the Google Earth blog and they publish something called 3D Mesh Locations. Now, this is a major big file where when Google Earth has used any 3D, they and their readers have made a KML, which is Keyhole Markup Language File, um, to show exactly um, where those 3D locations locations are anywhere in the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off and I'm just going to let that load just for a couple of seconds because what happens is that it does um, load and it does take just a couple of seconds to to load in I believe. Um, there we go. So what's happened here is that what we've got and let me just, just zoom out is we've got the standard new Google Earth app on Android here and then we've overlaid a KML file showing all those 3D locations. So if you wanted to go, and I'll just stick to the UK as I kind of know that a little bit, and that is I'll hit north and then I'll zoom in. And you can notice that there is a uh, key on the left hand side. Notice in black it says remove. So that's something I've learned immediately. And that is that if we go into the UK, we can look in and you can see that um, Norwich here, which is in Norfolk in the UK, very flat over there, has got some areas there which are 3D and the little bits around the edge say that possibly black indicates it's you know a little bit removed so that was it for this video and I hope you've learned something uh, about working with the KML KMZ files in Google Earth and the only thing that I would say is that if I go to desktop on my places I believe I can add files that actually stay there if I quit this app and then came back in, I think my places would actually be blank. But anyway, there you go. Um, many thanks once again, as I always do, because I've got to end this video by saying AZ Screen Recorder, thank you very much.
three, two, one, and then stop. 